Hi, I'm going to talk about South Seat's flexibility. And originally when I created the South Seat flexibility seed, it was about literal physical flexibility because we know that we all need flexibility in our bodies in order to function at the highest level. But now as I continue to work with self seeds, I also look at flexibility as a mindset and those things that also allow us to kind of maneuver through life. But today I'm gonna to focus on flexibility as the body. And what's really cool is I'm learning about different ways that you can create flexibility. There's always some discussion around is it good to stretch and do those things before working out or after. And what's lovely is there's so many different ways to work on that idea of flexibility that I'm going to talk about four particular points. And the four are myofascial release and static stretching, active stretching, and dynamic. And according to where you are in your fitness, your program, what you're maybe doing working with somebody, what you're investigating, there's four ways, and I'm sure there's more than that, but there are four really basic ways that you can work with improving your physical flexibility. And the myofascial release is very, you have a foam roll or a ball or something like that that you very carefully roll on until you hit a point that's sensitive and then you stay on that point until maybe 30 seconds, a minute, and it releases, and then you roll on. So it's, a, it's like rolling out little sore spots in the body to help the body understand how to release the tension. Very done very carefully, very gently, can be done before and after exercising. Now the old idea of just rolling on it like you're rolling out cookie dough for uh, making cookies or a pie crust isn't the right way is to do it very carefully, you hit a sore spot, you stay there for 30 seconds and then it releases and you roll on. Now the other next step is static stretching where if maybe you're doing some kind of corrective stretching, you know that you have an area that wants to be tight because of an old injury or an asymmetry in your body, then you focus on particular stretches in an area and you, you move and you hold that stretch and then you release it. So you might hold a stretch for a, um, your adductors or for something in a bicep. But you learn particular stretches for an area that focuses and that the idea is from stillness, you stretch, you hold it, and you release, and then you repeat. Now the third type is an active stretching which is also can be used as sort of part of a warm-up towards actual movement and it requires where you stretch in an active way so you're hitting a point and releasing and hitting a point and releasing so part of the stretch may be the actual activity of the movement of something like if I'm working with stretching my neck I may repeat just turning my neck holding it and returning and that's different than the static stretching where you're stretching to a point and holding where with the, with the active stretching, literally the movement is part of the stretch. Now the final stretch of these four is a dynamic stretch where you're actually almost doing micro exercises in order to warm your body up. You're not at full capacity, you're not at the full range of athletic capacity, but you're literally doing an exercise that stretches the body, like a squat down stretch or an ice skate or something, that there's a dynamic action in the stretch as a warm-up. And again, this is a good thing for an athletic level too, where maybe you know that it's safe from doing the other three steps of the myofascial, the static, and the active stretching, you get to a point you know your body, you have the inner balance, and all of those things that allow you to then work at the dynamic level of stretching. So again, it's exciting to, to in a way expand upon my original self-seed was doing stretches, and since then I've learned much, much more about how to be effective 
in your stretching. So even if you pick five minutes to stretch once a day, twice a day, you're sitting at a desk, you incorporate it in your day, the idea is to find out what stretches are safe and effective for you in your daily process. Thank you.